What's up everyone? Rad here on Attack of the Bee Team, floating above this house that I started building and quickly decided it was way too derpy. So, I want to tear it down. Um, I love the wood, I love the colors, I love the carpenter blocks, but oof. The style? Pretty bad. Pretty bad. And it all started out, um, the idea, the concept was to have this Oh, let me get out of F5 mode because it's so confusing. Um, the idea was to have this be a sort of central tower. And um, the only entrance through the attic. And then I was just going to have... Ooh, essence berries. I was going to have just other houses coming off of it. But um, I just... No, I can't stand it. So... I will probably end up tearing that down today, but first, I want to take these saddles that I got from my freaking scary trip to the nether, and I'm going to tame a couple of horses, and I don't even know if I can do that in bat form, but I have so many pretty horses, and um, what better place to put a saddle? So let me also get a lead, because I may try to get some of those dark in fact I want to I want to see those two dark black horses and they're kind of somewhere or they're difficult to move if there's a lead in there I don't see it there's one and as I said I don't know if I can tame a horse in bat form but we'll see and where is it? Oh, um, I sort of started excavating this. It's one of the witch's circles. And I think I, if I dig it down far enough, they'll spawn and take drop damage, and then I can take all their stuff. I don't know that for sure, though. Oh, sheep. So the black horses are not over here. Um, they're in one of these ravines. Are they over here? Horsey, horsey, horsey. Where's my pretty horsey? Now what is on your head? Is that a red stapler? Or a hot dog? I don't know. These trees are really pretty. I think these are the willow. Um, Audio used willow for the barn that he's building. Um, willow would be for the forest dragon. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, it's just stained, though. Problem with stained is that it's not... The wood isn't stained, it's only the leaves. I could get some shears and use the leaves. Anyway, where was I? Willow. Willow for the forest dragon. Ooh. That's nice. Oh, and that was a kitty cat. Um, he used ghost wood for the aether dragon. Um, blood wood, I want to say, for his fire dragon. There's my red horse, my black horse. And then, um, I think he might have used the dark wood for mine, for my water dragon. I'm not sure. So this is a pretty horsey. But so are both of these. Except for that. I don't remember him having a hat before. I don't like it. It's pretty ugly. Um, so how am I going to get him out? What is this, marble? That's a fortune pick. That's an efficiency pick. And look what's on my, on my axe. Smite. Why is there smite on an axe? I don't know. Is that a slime on your butt? Oh, gross. Alright, um... Let me just get some dirt, because it's easy to harvest, easy to plant. Okay. 
Um, you know, just to be safe, I'll do this too. I'm not trying to ride you, horsey. I'm trying to lead you to safety. Come with me if you want to live. Although, with that slime on your butt, I don't know. You should have a doctor check that out. That's kind of gross. Mm -hmm. So, let me bring him over where the dragon is. And. I don't remember where that was. Oh! Oh! I'm gonna kill this horse! He's flying! Let's fly higher. So I can drop him in water, and then he won't die. Wow. I mean, I know I said I hated your decoration. Please don't die, horsey. Very sorry. See, that worked out just fine. If you are ever in bat form and you find yourself dragging a horse through the air. Just drop him in water. It'll be it'll be all good. Oh Oh no. Oh no. Horse is gonna take damage again. Let's get him over here in the water. Oh, poor horsey. Okay. Down. Nope, nope, that was up. Down. 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 I think he's okay. Oh, I can't shoot for crap right now. So cute. I think that's like the one I gave Dolan a few days ago. Okay, the horse is safe. I need food and I need to sleep. my juicer. That's the best thing about Feed the Beast Horizons, the juicer. Coconuts. Alright, horse. Love me. Like the other one's um, slime is gone. Once this guy agrees to let me ride him, I'll go look at it. Come on! Did I miss the hearts? Nope. There we go. Riding a horse in bat form, not so great. You just can't see. Where's the other one? Should be up here somewhere. Come on, horsey. Come on. Don't get hurt. Yay! 
He's been cured by Dr. Dragon, I guess. So you two are beautiful. And I'm going to make lots and lots of babies. So let's get some golden carrots going. Do I have carrots? I hope so. Um, I should have some growing if I don't have any in here. Maybe not. I'm going to swap one of them out for gold armor. Ooh, I like that better. Hello. Hi, beauty. It's so pretty. I love my dragon. Right, um, carrots. Maybe I have some over here. If I don't, I can try the dirt hut. Or the D team. Yeah, I've got carrots. DTHQ. Yep. Carrots for days. It's a strawberry seed. I think that's coffee there. Melon? Ooh, where can I plant some melons? That's a good place. And that's a good place. Um, it won't flop over onto the sand though. So, there. Uh, gold. I have tons of gold. That's another thing I like about Attack of the Bee Team is resources. You don't have to drive yourself crazy looking for them. Alright, where are my horsies? I want to breed them. You come over next to this guy. Where's my horse? Okay. Golden carrots. You plus you. Oh, that is not a black horse. That's a very brown horse. Hmm. Not sure what I think about that. All right. Um. So. Let me sleep away the night and then I'll get working on demolishing this awful place. Okay, good. Um, actually, I need another axe because this one is unbreaking, but it's not efficiency. So, let me make another axe, and I'll head over to Spawn Town and enchant it, and then um, come back here. The crap. Okay, yeah, I need that. Give me your hat. Do I already have that hat? Weird. Alright, uh, yes. Going to Spawn Town, probably ride the dragon, and, um, make another axe. Oh, I should put some, some things away. Make another axe, enchant it, and then get to work on chopping this down. Right. Be back in a second. Hey everyone, Rad here, and I'm going back towards my base without the dragon because I kind of derped and I died, and then I respawned at my base. And the dragon spawned inside my hut, and I didn't know how to get him out, so, yeah. I'm just going on without him. What's that? I'm going to guess this is the handiwork of minions. I don't know, though. Anyway, um, so I went to the nether because I wanted another rack, and of course one thing led to another, and I thought, why don't I just get nether quartz, and nether quartz will give me lots of XP, 
which it did, because after I had died, I lost a bunch of XP. Got myself a Wither Skull. <laughs> Got myself some Hive Blocks. Got chased by Hornets. Um, and no big deal. I just hid myself in the wall and tunneled out to safety. But I hope nobody goes by that Hornet's Nest anytime soon. I don't know how long they stay angry. That buzzing sound was a little terrifying. Just a little. So I got my axe. Efficiency 4. Yay! Fortune 3. Oh, okay. Bane of Arthropods? What? All I wanted is all I wanted was unbreaking. So now I have to work up my XP again. So I can combine these two. But this should do for now. At least it's efficiency. I am about ready to burn down this house. Between my house here on Attack of the Bee Team and the house I've been working on in vanilla, I just keep changing my mind and moving things around and I don't want to chop one more block. I'm so tired of it. One of these days, I keep saying, and one of these days I will actually follow through. Am I going the right way? No. One of these days I will actually follow through on planning something out in creative. before I go crazy trying to build something survival. Um, you know, this has happened to me before that I've got into the overworld and I'm still displaying my waypoints for the nether. So let me check my map. 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 Right. <laughs> Going the very wrong way. And you can see I've done this before because those were nether coordinates. Um, I don't know what to do there. Group. Uh, group. None. Group bases. That'll work. Okay. I need to go this way. This is beautiful though. These are bamboo. And beliefs. Okay. Neat. That's bamboo sapling. Also neat. There's another. I love these mod packs, how quickly the leaves decay. Because that is so frustrating. You're just standing there in vanilla, waiting and waiting on the leaves. Ooh. What is this? Hardened dirt. Red rock. Very nice. Very pretty. To borrow a phrase from BWO. This is not the time or the place. Um, heading to my base. But I'll keep this in mind. This is nice. What am I going to keep it in mind for? I have an entire planes by. Oh. Wow. This is beautiful. <sighs> Sigh. But can you, can you just imagine a dragon on top of those peaks? Oh, maybe someone's already building here, or is that a naturally spawned something? I mean, it looks like naturally spawned style. It's a witch. Rowan berries and a spruce sapling. I will take that and give you some netherrack. Hmm. Samantha Grove. You're not going anywhere, Miss Samantha Grove. Interesting. Well, I guess I can turn off the F3 
because I've got the mini map working. What's up? I'm still on my way back, but I had to check out this slime pit in the sky, and I'm kind of glad I did because I found a rubber tree. And I don't know if that's rare, but it's the first time I've seen one. Um, of course my inventory is packed. What can I ditch? Um, let's see, uh, nope. Two points? Nope. Oh yeah, that. And I don't need that either. So give me the rubber wood and then um, I guess I would rather have raw rubber. And are there rubber saplings? Yes. Um, sticks. I guess I can throw away sticks. Yeah. Cool. Break out ye old bane of arthropods. Okay, yeah, this place is not so great. Um, let's just quickly finish this tree. Yeah, you guys fight each other. That's cool. Uh, I would prefer to plant one of these before I go. Oh. <laughs> you can eat slime. That's weird. So I only got two rubber saplings. Um. Oh my goodness, gosh. What's this? Right, um... Homeward Bound. I should be very close. I don't think I'm actually going to get around to chopping down this house today. Because... I spent a lot of time in the nether. I spent a lot of time flying to and from spawn in the wrong direction. So I'm just going to plant these three ghostwood saplings, finish fixing up my, my farm over there, and then call it a day. Um, let's see. Let's give it nice. That's a room. I'll go back over here a little bit further. One. Yep. That's not a going to grow. One, two, three, four. I should give them plenty of room and also maximize my potential saplings because the leaves won't overlap. So, pick up my decimated garden. Excellent. Oh, more cotton seeds. Cool. Okay. Um. So sometime I need to chop this down. Really excited to come over here and make a circular structure in there. This is a perfect bowl, or practically a perfect bowl already. 
So this is going to be great. And um, I suppose I'll see you later. Um, still thinking of names for my dragon, so if you can suggest something. Prismarine came to mind, but um, I don't know what I'd call it for short. Pris? Maybe. It's uh, kind of reminds me of Katniss, Katniss's little sister, Prim. But I've always thought of this blue dragon as a, as a male dragon, so I don't know. Anyway, um, sapphire. Something that evokes the color of blue, or something that evokes him being, um, is he going to get damage if I try to take him away from here? Yeah, he's stuck. He's stuck. <laughs> something that evokes either the color blue or something to do with the ocean. Um, yeah. I've known guys that were named Garnet and Marion, so maybe Prismarine is not so bad. I'll think about it. Alright, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye!